All right, mate. So dealing with dealing with uh, life as it is and aging I'm 63 things happen that didn't used to and it's all right you just have to be aware Hello. So what I think might have happened is going up the five floors with my luggage, I might have strained uh, my groin on the left side. Uh, knock on wood, I don't think it's a hernia, but it's... It's just a dull pain. You don't feel good. When you don't feel good, you don't want to do anything. I didn't do much today because of that uh, and sleep deprivation. I don't know. You can say, man, you're a baby or you're a complainer. I'm okay with that. I've been called much worse than that. i tell you what I did do and the reason I'm here. My favorite artist is Pablo, is, uh, yeah, Pablo Picasso. No, Vincent Van Gogh. Um, and I walked down to the Van Gogh Museum and saw the most uh, Van Gogh paintings and etchings uh, that I ever have. And, uh, and there was also some Klimt. I think his name is Klimt. And I like some of his paintings of women, uh, almost in ecstatic pose. There's one I really like. It's not just a woman. It's a woman and a man, and they're together. And I like that more because that's what ecstasy really is. It's two people, I believe. Um, but I'd like to see that again. I've, I've looked for it before. It's, I like his other stuff. What do they call him? Golden Boy. I think it's called Golden Boy because I guess he used gold a lot in his paintings. But very beautiful and pretty and colorful. But uh, Van Gogh, uh, yeah, just knocks me out. He knocks me out. Uh, is it the end? I don't know. You know, it's beyond uh, explanation. You can explain part of it, but not all of it. Oh, yes. with me, I have pension. Um, you see, I don't know my name. I remember the first time somebody, a lady walked by in a store, and I didn't know her, kind of nice looking, and she starts talking to me, and I was like, wow. This is, and so I started talking to her, and she looked at me like I was a freak, because she had a thing in her ear, and she was... Talking on the phone, I guess. I'd never seen that before. So I thought she was talking to me. It's kind of weird when people are walking around and it looks like they're talking to themselves. Um, a whole lot of Van Gogh self-portraits. And I like the Impressionists. They had some Degas. I like Degas. Um, some Monet. Uh, Gauguin. I, I liked... Gauguin and Van Gogh were friends, but it sounds like, from what I've read, they uh, they stayed together for a while, and maybe it was too intense, probably too intense. Hello. I don't know if that's around the time he cut off his ear, but I think they were both very intense. My girlfriend and I in Seattle had a good time for three years, and we were good to each other, and it was a healthy relationship, but it... That's probably our problem. Is we were too intense, both of us uh, are strong-willed, intense people, and you know that'll wear you out. Um, but Van Gogh, uh, I've seen a lot of really nice Van Goghs, so maybe it didn't blow me away like I thought it would. Or 
I guess I didn't really have preconceptions, but I've seen, a, you know, there's some really nice Van Goghs at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, at the Chicago Art Institute. Uh, I guess those are the main, main two places I've seen. I'd like to see the Louvre, or, or the, the Louvre, the Louvre, I don't know what, I don't know what you... How you doing? It's kind of funny. A lot of times I'll be walking around on my bike and there'll be, there'll be, let's say, four adults and a kid or two. And it's a lot of times the only person that says hello is the kid. It's kind of funny. The kids teaching the adults how to live, how to be civilized, how to care for your fellow human being. We just need to remember that. Remember, we all need each other. Climate change is shoving that in our face. You can't just act like you're a big, strong person out on your own. I do things by myself. No, that's no way to have a community and no way to solve the problems that we face today. Hello. Hello. It's nice, isn't it? Yes. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. Kefahalik. Why have you Arabic? Ah, I lived in Morocco for a while. Morocco. I like oh. it. They're nice people. Why have you Turk? It's Turkish. Okay, Turkish. Turkish. Yeah. Okay. Still, uh, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> you? Uh, me, from America. From America. Yeah. Mm. But I enjoyed Morocco and uh, many Muslims kind to me. I was kind to them. You want to talk Muslim? You want to talk Muslim? What does that mean? Uh huh. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abduhu. Verasulu. Verasulu. It's a bit he. Uh huh. He. Oh, okay. Some water Muslim. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. And now I'll teach you something. Take care, buddy. <laughs> Where are y'all from? Yeah, I'll take your yeah, picture. I'm Muslim. All four of you? All four. Okay. Okay, Dad, you get in there too, Daddy. One. One. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, just being kind to each other. One man in particular out of four was friendly to me and I was friendly to him. And so four people, one from America and four from Turkey, were kind and engaging and communicated and cared. And can make you cry. And cry for why why we don't do it more. Cry for why it's not second nature. Why we let nationalities and races and religions, you know, ruin things.
instead of helping things. Diversity is a good thing. That's a cutie pie dog. Hello. All right. How are we doing? Let's see. I get locked out. I have to log back in. Okay. That's enough of that stuff. Oh, yeah, he's learning. He's a tech head. He's a may not be a tech genius, but uh, he's trying to. My goodness. Let's see. There we go. So nice. 